Get out the way. Get out the way. Get out the way, bitch. Get out the way. Hi, my friends. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hi, Makanksha. So, uh, today's video, you read the title already. It is eyeliner tips and tricks, do's and don'ts, whatever you want to call it. Uh, according to me, eyes like make or break a look. I mean, of course, contouring and highlighting does have its own effect. But when somebody sees you, the first thing they see is your eyes. And like the way your eyes are structured can literally uh, make or break your makeup look. You can look, you know, really nice and snazzed or very droopy, very round. It, like, it really depends on how you apply your liner so yeah i have a lot of tips i wrote down a lot of tips what what i i wrote down all the tips which came into my mind which i use on a regular basis and i wish somebody told me these things like right when i started it would be very 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 useful so uh yeah let's get started Okay guys, so like I told you, I'll be doing tips and tricks, do's and don'ts, etc. So on my right side, I'll be doing do's, things I like to do, things you're supposed to do, and things which work out well and look really nice and like everybody knows what do's are. And on that side, I'm going to show you things which I'm not supposed to uh, be doing. So I just add a little bit of brow pencil, a little bit of concealer on my eyes because I usually do you know add concealer on my lips before i go in with the liner and i did not apply under eye concealer because like nobody cares but i didn't apply because one i'll just give you a quick tip if you're somebody who's extremely intimidated by applying a eyeliner and you really really think like you cannot do it then it's always better for you to first apply like you know do your eyes apply the liner and then in the end you do your base so that you know if you mess up anything with your liner um you can kind of rub it off and then simply just redo that thing or you can just wipe of whatever is messy and then you can once you go with your base everything will be fine uh, i did not do it because i have to wipe my um liner at least i think one time two times because i feel like i have few tips in mind which which might require me uh to wipe it off once so that's the reason i did not apply anyways let's... and for eyeliner today we are going in with the lacme iconic liner now i've been using this one a lot i've mentioned this in my favorite hit list makeup also it's really really good so this one is smudge proof that means it's a long lasting the applicator is really nice we'll anyways get uh, into it about like the liner in the later part of the video but dude this one is just rupees 250 that is so damn amazing right this video is sponsored by lacme and other, even if it's not sponsored i would really like this one this is just 50 bucks for 4.5 ml so let's start off with the first tip so if you always struggle to get same side of liner on both the sides and you're always intimidated to apply it then this it would be like one of the best things you can do take your bronzer or any light brown shade what i always do is some i i do this especially if i'm doing like graphic liner and i don't know how the shade would turn out then you know sometimes I sketch it out and see if it looks nice and then I go in with that or take any bronzer and just uh, take an angled brush go in with the bronzer so don't go in with a darker color because you have to again wipe it off this bronzer kind of blends away just have to mark the area wherever you want to you know uh, apply your liner so I'm just going to like you know spot my area let's say I want to apply my a liner right there but before drawing let's step into the second step of our uh, um, liner tips so that would be that whenever you are doing a liner always look into the mirror never ever close your eye at least when you're sketching out the shape of your liner that time definitely look into the mirror and you know see where your eye is and then shape your uh, liner according to the you know eye shape if you close it you don't understand how it looks uh, because you are just seeing the shape when it's closed and the minute it's open it's not going to look the same especially if you have hooded eyes uh, hooded eyes are eyes uh, which don't have a lot of lid space and uh, like if i look straight you kind of see my lid a little bit but hooded eyes don't have a lot of lid space so you know if you apply a liner very randomly when you close your eyes when you open your eyes you're not going to see it so open your eyes first mark out where you want and then you can go ahead with uh, your liner so now on this side i'm going to mark it with the bronzer and then go in with the liner and on the other side i'm not going to do that so i'm just going to uh, just take my bronzer now when i look straight i like my wing to be lifted i might i like my edge of the eye to be lifted 
so i don't know if you can see that there is a brown shadow on my eyelid it is very very subtle uh, i just want that to know where my eyeliner has to uh, be applied so i just like look straight into the mirror go across the shape especially i am afraid where my wing is going to go so i'm going to just look straight spot where i want it draw a line and then connect it so that i know where exactly i want it and what shape i want it now on the left side you can like you know definitely go in without like sketching it if you're very like you know you know what you want but that's just like one of the extra step you can do in case you um you know can't do it really well you know what i think i should add a little bit of lipstick i look very pale let me just add and come back all right a bunch of lipsticks later this is the shade we have now Let's move on to eyeliner, and the eyeliner I'm going to use is the Lakme Iconic eyeliner. Uh, like I said, this is just two fifty rupees for four point five ml of product. It is very very smudge proof. It is waterproof. It is long lasting. I'll show you it is waterproof in a couple of minutes later. It like damn waterproof. I'm like two fifty bucks. That's really nice. So for now, this range has just one color, which is a black. I really wish they come with more colors. So uh, I'm going to take this and apply and show you how you know good it goes on, how easy it is. Now one more thing is this liner is really good for somebody who has oily lids because I know if you have oily lids, like every eyeliner just smudges. But trust me, this one. stays on it does not budge so you know it's really good for somebody who has oily lids or somebody who has folded lids like you know for a lot of people the eyeliner kind of touches uh, the lid especially if you have hooded eyes that's kind of also because um, you're doing your eyeliner lo 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 eyeliner wrong but also because your liner is not uh, good enough for your eyes so i'm just taking the applicator and i'm just you know removing off the extra part so since i've already mapped out my shape now i can close my eye and apply uh, but had i not mapped out my uh, you know shape i would kind of like close my eye and apply but i'm just going to always one more thing yes that comes to the third uh, tip before applying my liner don't get annoyed so whenever you apply your liner now all the entire instagram i know first wings it out and then draws the line but but i could never do that until recently even recently sometimes when i do it i mess it up so i always always suggest you to first start with the inner point inner point do a very thin line or you don't want to do it then don't do it but always start from here map it out and then do it um because um, If you try to bring out your thing first only without even knowing the shape of your eye, and if you're a beginner, you you have not figured out how to apply, then it doesn't come out um, well. So I'm just taking the liner. I hope you could see that. So yeah, one more thing is make sure if your hands like shiver. My hands shiver a lot, so I always like you know have a stool near me. so where i can put like my hand support and then apply so you can see i got such a thin application of liner very very easily and very very precisely and it's like jet black you don't have to you know go on over a liner two three times now i'll just swatch this and show you see it's like intense black like instantly it does not bleed into the lines like i'll show you once this dries down that it does not bleed into the lines at all so next i'm just going to follow the same bronzy line i have so that went on very quick and very nice very like jet black didn't have to go on that twice uh, but you can see i messed up a little bit and for that i do have a tip which i did i wanted to mention so whenever you mess up with a liner the best thing you can do is go in with your q tip now if it is wet you can just generally go over it and you know smudge it off a little bit so if it's still wet you know the year but does the work you can see that i had just like messed up a little bit so i cleaned it off but if you do mess up and the liner won't come off because this one if dries down it's not moving so at that point you can just take a q tip add a little bit of micellar water go into that area and very very precisely clean it off so the next tip is now when you look at my liner when i look straight it's beautiful very beautifully winged it looks nice suits my eye shape lifts my eye as well but when i close it you can see i didn't do a traditional let me just zoom you in when i close my eye you can see 
that I did a wing and I took it down a little and then I made that complete wing. I closed it, it's subtle, but when I open it, it's not even seen. So that's kind of like a bat wing eye of hooded eye which is going on. If you do want a tutorial of that, then let me know I can do that separately. But this is something I do like a a fake version like a mini version of it for my eyes uh, because my eyes don't really need that much because I don't have you know hooded eyes so now because I shaved everything very perfectly it kind of came out well it suits my eyes really well but on the other side like for me now it's going to be easy first of all because this liner the brush is very very precise but I'm kind of going to mess up and show you um, because you know first mistake don't close your eyes and do so I'm just going to close my eyes and draw a liner and hope to god that it's going to look good so I'm going to draw outside like I told you which you should not be doing so this is how Instagram shows you that you should be doing do this wing then connect everything you see that right like the minute I started going this later I kind of messed it up already and got it very fat I mean it really I'm not even kidding when you start doing this it keeps going on and on and on okay let's say I always don't mess up the starting point so let me just kind of uh, you know take a q-tip so now I'm just going to take a q-tip and clean off the starting point just using some micellar water and just removing the starting point so that I kind of can make it a little bit smaller see it's still bad right I mean this shape is not flattering the wing is too fat it does not elevate anything it's just too strong and does not do anything for your eye while this side is very precise very small very tiny very nice very beautiful very you know sexy and this side is like I'm a cow now because I told this shape is very nice and sexy that doesn't mean uh, you know you have to do this uh, shape so this brings to my another point that do your eyeliner according to your eye shape don't see somebody else doing their liner and follow the same thing so the one way to figure out which shape uh, suits you best is uh, you know to practice like you know do different types of liners and see what uh, you know works for you one one day night just like sit and do multiple liners and just like you know figure it out or else you can just you know always uh, use the use your bronzer figure like you know randomly draw lines and see which uh, looks best for you and then the next time you do your makeup you can always just carry along uh, carry along with the same uh, liner shape Okay, so one more thing which I forgot to mention, it's kind of like my biggest pet peeve when it comes to eyeliner is stretching your eye. Do not, do not stretch your eye. I know you think your fine lines require you to pull it and apply it, but no, 10 years down the lane, you're going to regret of the aging which happened because of you pulling your eye. And also the shape of the liner never comes out same if you pull your line because your skin is stretching and that's how, and that's not how your skin is going to be once it's going to come back so never ever stretch your eyeliner let me just so let me just demonstrate of how it's going to look if you stretch your eye and apply uh, your liner it's never going to look the same this is just micellar water and q-tip again so the weird thing like not a bad beard but a good beard is that usually when you remove your like you know liner you become a panda right like you know everything becomes black everything just like smudges off but this one kind of um peels off uh, you know like how a glue would peel off so you know it doesn't smudge like it basically doesn't create that ugly black uh, cast on your uh, eye even when you remove it you can just like you know remove that part remove off that extra like you know whatever is hanging and then you're good to go you don't have to wipe everything off because it just like you know smeared every uh, where while you remove it okay now i'm going to apply my wing while stretching my um, eyelid guys and you know you're going to see how well it's going to look i don't even know how people do this how do you know the shape of it I didn't expect it to be this bad it was not intentional I swear what the hell like you know see when I stretch it out it kind of looks nice that you know the wing is there it's looking very really nice but when I put it down 
what the like i've had a day i used to do this so i know it my wing always used to be this bad and it used to be very very horrible now i don't even know how to fix this thing anyway we are going to leave that there so next and last step is uh, applying your concealer now applying your concealer of course in contouring highlighting makes a huge huge difference but even when you apply your liner and you kind of mess up your liner concealer is the perfect way to do it and that's one of the advantages to do your liner before you go in with your uh, base especially if you are a beginner so one thing you can do is just you know take your concealer you can take a flat brush you can just use the direct uh, you know the doe fit and do it but i'm just going to use a flat brush so i'm just going to take this flat brush and i'm just going to take that on my hand a little bit of concealer and you can nicely you know go precisely near it and cut it so it's just going to first of all clear it up like clean it up and also it's going to create a lift if it can only focus on yeah it can also create a lift because the concealer is lighter than black obviously it's going to give your eyeliner a lot more definition and your eyes a lot more definition so i just add a little more concealer and blend it out that edges now you can clearly see that you know it's obviously more enhanced compared to this side now if i do apply concealer on this side i can kind of clean it up a little more and enhance this you know liner a little more as well but it's too horrible for me to even want to enhance the liner because it doesn't look good on my eyes at all so yeah guys those were my few tips and tricks for eyeliner so before ending i just quickly want to again give shout out for this iconic liner from lakme it is really iconic price point smudge proof waterproof yeah let's just test the waterproof factor so quickly let's put water on it and see i'm going to rub it a little bit I'm rubbing hard you guys i told you it is waterproof it is smudge proof definitely if you are like going to rub in hard it's going to move because of the pressure of your finger but other than that it's going to be fine so i do a little quick you know foxy liner right here as well i do have a tutorial for it you can see that this liner is actually really good to do that as well because of it's like the precision you know what let me just quickly show you uh, how easy it is to do a foxy liner with this liner as well so quickly like you know you can see how quickly it happens i'm not going to edit this part that's it now <laughs> that simple what it took me hardly 10 seconds or something so you know it did not come fat or thick or something very precise like i told you so it's a very jet matte black liner i one suggestion i would give about this liner is that don't go overboard because one thing only has too much pigment so if you go two three layers it's just going to become too much it's not only really this liner with any liner uh, that would be the case if it's going to give pigment then just one swipe is enough if it you know gets too much then it might be a little heavy on your eye so don't do that now all these products will be linked in the description and that's it for this video i really hope you like this video i'm too zoomed in i think but i'm lazy to kind of push it out and zoom out but yeah i hope you really like this video and if you did then make sure you like share and subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell and i'll see you guys in my next video bye